Nimrit, you'll be next seen in Disney Plus Hotstars' yes. six-parter series, School of Lies. Yes. Which is a missing child drama. You yes. play this school counselor in the series, whose name is Nandita Mehra. Yeah. Now, you have this discerning quality of picking up some very good projects. Plus, you are one of the most talented actresses that we have today in the country. So, Thank what you. made you sign this project apart from the story, setup, and the director? <laughs> What else can there be? <laughs> Pray tell. Well, it all began with Avinash's uh, attachment, you know, with the project. And I, I, I'm a huge fan of his work. I always wanted to work with him since uh, Killa. I watched it three times on the big screen, in fact. And I just wanted to see what is he doing next. I always wanted to work with him. And, um, you know, this is how it kind of came about. And I just wanted to... I heard the story. And then um, uh, I found it... Even though I was looking for something in a lighter vein to pick up next, uh, I found this story so compelling and so important as a subject to bring forth and to you know put forth in front of an audience that I felt like it was non-negotiable for me uh, to decide about it. You know, actually, I just had to do it. It was one of those parts, and it's a story that deals with a very complex and a very delicate subject in a very sophisticated and a very, very gentle manner. So, um, yeah. So, you know, we, of course, uh, we are yet to discover the series, but we loved you uh, as this manipulative CM wife in industry, your last outing. How likable your character is in this series? Uh, you, of course, are surrounded by kids. You know, I, I believe that, uh, Vishal, that every character is as likable as as well as it's played and portrayed on screen. We never come out disliking a character. I would like to say that. I mean, even if a person portrayed on screen isn't morally aligned with our choices, if it's played well, uh, you'll always come out entertained or you'll always come out, you know, experiencing something, you know? So my attempt is always that. It's never, it's never to make someone like or dislike me. It is how well can I convince you about what I'm playing, you know? So I think Nandita Mehra, her part, I mean, the part I play in the series will be as good or as bad as um, uh, how you uh, feel after watching the entire story, the entire show. How you feel, how convinced do you feel about the story? How does it move you? Um, that's the success of uh, a portrayal in any format for me. So I really do hope that the larger conversation we are trying to have, uh, the bigger picture, the inconvenient truths, the, the uncomfortable feelings that, you know, we felt while reading and portraying um, uh, uh, the story and, you know, the scenes. I can just hope that people are able to relate and are able to ask themselves some tough questions and just look around them and kind of just introspect a little bit. So uh, I can hope that that's, that's what happens because that was really my intention and my motivation to do, uh, you know, school advice. So the setting of the series is, is this uh, elite school. You know, in the trailer, we see your character telling the principle that I can talk What approach you took while shooting with the kids? Although you have said that today's kids are very sharp, and sensitive. Yeah. So then what was it that, that you observed about yourself and about the kids that you think was your big learning from this show? Well, kids are so smart, no doubt. And they do not need to be handheld about anything. You know, I thought that maybe I'll need to make some, you know, some of the kids comfortable or, you know, just kind of help them break the ice. They needed none of that. In fact, they were so up with it and, you know, <laughs> just so up to speed with everything that I felt like I needed to just make sure that I had my A game on, you know, that I don't seem uncool at any point. And I was like, uh, you know, they don't need any help. They've got it. Uh, they were very comfortable, very self-assured, chilled out. They knew exactly what they were doing. Some of them were non-actors, which is always such a pleasure. You know, there's a rawness and like, a, like an effervescence on screen, uh, which you are, I'm so envious of. Um, it was really an amazing experience. In particular, I worked with an actor called Barin, who plays the part of uh, Vikram, 
and uh, very complex part and very interesting. Such an intense actor, so ahead of his years. And he's all of 16. And I was like, when I was 16, you know, I was still living in my birds and bees world. And here's some, a 16 year old, you know, who's got exposure to world cinema and his favorite film is uh, Call Me By Your Name. And I was like, oh my God, you know, these are such uh, advanced uh, 2.0 version of kids that, you know, I wasn't when I was growing up. So it was really an eye opener actually. So, you know, you've been part of some of the biggest uh, shows like Homeland. As an actor and performer, how do you keep yourself motivated when you shoot for a series like this one, which has six episodes? And what is the trick to have that element of surprise in one's performance, even if you're shooting uh, for a project for a long time? Uh, School of Lies for me was actually not such a long project uh, because it's, it's a story that has a lot of characters and um, I'd like to say that it's 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 about the kids in the school and as uh, as an um, uh, as 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 a female actor in, in the show I am providing the part of you know someone who observes everything and is an insider but an outsider as well so that all of that interplay and all of that interpersonal relationship uh, with the kids and with, you know, my own, you know, character arc was very, very interesting. Um, so it actually didn't feel like I was doing something for a very long time because my shooting period was not very, very long. I filmed uh, this in 20 days. So uh, the rest of it went on for much longer. So for me, it really did feel like a film actually in that sense. And working with Avinash was such, such a profound pleasure. He is really so calm and so lovely and such a beautiful mind to be around that just hear him speak to other actors sometimes used to inspire me with what I was doing on set. After a long time felt like I learned something and I unlearned something you know um, after a while you're just looking to also unlearn stuff so you don't carry the baggage of what you know and what you think yeah. you know. So that's very important and I felt like that happened here. You don't get demotivated, I think. I don't ever get demotivated as an actor. You know, the only thing that that sort of dims the shine of the job a little bit for me is if the environment is not nurturing and safe and loving and you don't feel like, uh, you know, you're being heard for whatever reasons. Um, that's the only time that I find myself demotivated. Otherwise, I, I live for what I do, you see. I love going to work. I love waking up to go to work. The motivation uh, is in the lines I have to speak, is in every time, you know, uh, action is called out on set. That is my motivation. So I'm never being motivated. I never do anything for reasons other than the love for what I'm doing. So I'm not uh, one of those people who loses interest. Uh, I may lose my, uh, you know, like uh, my peace of mind at times, you know, where I feel like I haven't done what I should have done or, you know, something came in the way or, you know, whatever. But I never need to motivate myself. Coming back to School of Lies, which was that one scene in this series that you think for you was the reason to sign the show? No, there was no one scene. Uh, there never is a one scene that you actually... But the one you were looking most forward to? You know, there was one scene that frightened me the most. It's a scene between Nandita and her father. That was the scene that actually I found the most challenging and I was most frightened of when I read the script. And it actually was so scary for me that I was not sure if I was going to be able to do it. And um, um, that is the one scene that, you know, I, I, that stayed with me uh, long after uh, even we filmed it. And finally, you know, having worked in Hollywood and in India and in various formats, according to you, what is the most demanding part of this profession of being an actor? That's a very nice question. And thank you for asking that because most people think, you know, it's just glamour and photographs and, oh, you know, the entourage and <laughs> that's all optics. Uh, the most difficult part sometimes, two things. One is the loneliness of it. Sometimes you can have to be in a hotel for months if you're working in a, in a series abroad. 
you can just you know have to be by yourself without your family your loved ones without really spending your good me time and doing your day to day me time things uh, you know whether it's meeting your friends or just hanging out with your pets or doing nothing in your bed you know just lying those uh, privileges you don't have for very very long periods of time so that sense of home gets taken away and you become like a traveling bilbury you know you're just anywhere everywhere and you know just feel a little scattered um the other thing is uh i think that sometimes people don't see the person in you they just meet you for the perception they carry about you and it takes very long for people to see you for who you are and also for them to reveal themselves because many people are also putting up a show you know people don't really meet you for who they are and they don't meet you with who you really are that takes time those walls to drop takes time thank you so much for your time uh, looking forward to watch this series and many more what you do in the future i'm dying to know what you think vishal uh, we're out uh, on the 2nd of june on disney plus hotstar it's a difficult watch but give it the time and love it 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 deserves and let us know what you think sure thank you so much and looking forward to lots more all the best thank you bye bye thank you bye